During our last episode, we got some great insights into how organizations can transform themselves while unlocking the power of technology. So automation is able to help on the critical drivers for businesses. It is not just going to help them in terms of bringing in operational efficiency, but better productivity and profitability as well. If you select a right set of use cases, which brings high impact on you know, your business outcomes, your automation journey will be smooth. And all these four gamuts together can help scale at speed. Automation is having its Jarvis moment right now. Up until maybe two, three years back, customer would say either I'm looking at a cost takeout or a, a customer satisfaction improvement. Now organization needed both and at a much cheaper cost. If organizations are able to assess the impact of automation on its processes, on its people, on aspects of data security, and more importantly, the customer experience, they understand and assess the impact, that's a quick win for them. Continuing the conversation with me today is the panel back once again, and they're going to talk to us more about how they deliver value to their clients and really help them think bolder, scale higher. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? Let's find out what that means. Please join me in welcoming back Sumit Srivastav, Mahesh Parab, Ritesh Jain, and Hari Prasad Gajapati. Welcome everyone once again. Mahesh, can I start with you today? So during our last conversation, you spoke to us about scale at speed and how organizations can benefit from it. Can you tell us how we deliver the advantage of scale at speed to our clients? Sure, Disha. PwC has invested in many solution and accelerator, but if I really pick up the key one, which is a value realization framework. As I highlighted last time, this framework helps me to bring a value onto the table, which CXO's agenda is talking about. It looks at three primarily angles. One is people, process, and technology. With all three aspects of the you know, overall process, it brings the value like increased efficiency, increased revenue, and the enhanced customer experience. If I really give an example where we have deployed this value relation framework, help me to predict or forecast the delivery demand from the market, proactively help me to answer that, which will indirectly help me to uplift the revenue. The same framework in another department of same customer helped me to bring the productivity on the table with help of automation, which indirectly again helped me with this three angles which I talked about. And the last but not the least, it enhances the customer experience with new ways of working. Yesterday they were working with the XYZ model. Today they use conversational AI to handle all type of you know, processes which comes to the practices or come to the department. So this value relation framework brings a three key values onto the table. One is revenue, cost, and experience. While this is the key one, we have also developed few others which help me to take a speed angle into the picture. We have developed a process discovery framework which helped me to build a right pipeline in the automation. It's a complete framework which helped me to have the high impact processes, show them the value onto the table. We have created a great marketplace which consists of reusable assets, uh, you know, deliverables, some of the frameworks which are specifically designed for the particular sector. Healthcare required a particular set of processes. So we have analyzed healthcare as a sector and you know, derived the heat map for it. Another banking or insurance sector required to be looked at a different angle. So this IA gallery helped me to start that kickstart that program, always keeping the value into the mind. And that, that is exactly what how we are delivering scale at speed with the PwC accelerators. So that's very interesting to know. And uh, if I can ask you to add on to what uh, Mahesh just mentioned, Ritesh, you spoke about certain business models the last time around. Uh, would you be able to tell us how we uh, deliver value for our clients through our various service offerings? Sure. So Disha, essentially the automation market is both consolidating and expanding at the same time. So what that essentially means for us is, we have created a four building blocks model for our customer. The first one being reimagine the process. The second one being partnership with our tech ecosystem, the various OEMs in the automation space. The third one is leveraging the various domain understanding and domain accelerators that we have. And the fourth being the tech accelerators or the IP that Mahesh talked about. So building this entire uh, consolidation of forces of sorts, 
converting it into a almost like a digital teammate for the customers which provide a different kind of a business outcome almost like a managed service which can be plugged and played within their enterprise either for bot as a service or business outcome as a service or cost takeout as a service customer acquisition as a service which effectively impacts the business outcome but the customer doesn't necessarily need to worry about the various building blocks that are required to make it happen they can pick and choose what they need but at the same point of time if someone is looking at a complete turnkey solution for a certain business problem we are providing that to our customers and that's great to know right and again uh, i'll ask you to put on your governance lens hari and tell us what is your mantra of success uh, for clients uh, while driving an automation governance sure look um it it doesn't vary with what mahesh or ritesh has mentioned in terms of people process and technology and the different models that we bring in along with the ips and accelerators and so on right so our governance model also looks at these three key aspects which is important uh, you know to for for organizations to bring together on the people side uh, the governance looks at identifying the right set of people and ensuring that there is clear roles and responsibilities outlined in terms of who does what and protocols are in place on the process side which is the one that takes a significant impact from an automation perspective multiple checkpoints in play which looks at the end to end automation discovery life cycle discover design develop debug deploy and even decommission right so put it together all the d's it covers those aspects on the technology aspect it is the end technology that is actually being used itself how safe is that tech what is the aspects around access what is the aspects around continuous monitoring what are the aspects around data privacy and security right controls and checkpoints that are in place so effectively looking at people process and technology our solution which i like to put it as governance in a box addresses all of these three aspects right and organizations typically look at how can i standardize my approach towards automation in terms of standardized process standardized template and uh, you know what the teams need to do in terms of putting the bots in production itself right they're also looking at how can i be risk averse and audit ready right from a compliance perspective our solution addresses all of these aspects right it looks at your existing process it helps you identify the gaps it helps you mitigate those gaps but it also gives you a mechanism to continuously evaluate your automation life cycle your automation process across people process technology so that you are plugging those gaps as well right having done this across multiple clients across various industries primarily around the financial sector where there is uh, you know so much importance given around controls uh, i'd say our solution in terms of governance in a box uh, is up there to ensure that clients are audit ready and their automation is sustainable so sumit we got some great insights from mahesh ritesh and hari over here if i were to ask you to sum up this conversation what are the final thoughts you would like to leave us with so if i have to sum up to say that what are businesses looking from their partners they want the partners to bring in strategy through execution capabilities they want the partners to bring in the tech ecosystem which will help them maximize the value which they can bring in through these disruptive technologies they want their partners to help them as part of the operating model change and the restructure of their workforce as they are bringing these technologies and creating a digital workforce to work along with their human workforce and to couple on all of that they are looking for very smart change management capabilities to help them manage this change very effectively now clearly if you look at what pwc has been trying to do in that space we have brought in our management consulting and technology consulting practices uh, you know effectively to cover all of these aspects which the clients are expecting along with the industry flavor which can then bring in very pointed capabilities in terms of how do i transform my oil and gas sector retail sector healthcare sector 
एफ एम सी जी सेक्टर ऑल ऑफ दीज सेक्टर्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग इन डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन वेरी इफेक्टिवली इन वाइल वी आर डूइंग ऑल ऑफ दैट वी हैव ऑल्सो इंश्योर दैट वी आर ब्रिंगिंग इन कंटिन्यूस इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इन टू आर फ्रेमवर्क इन टू आर आई पी सम ऑफ दैट विच यू हर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ वैल्यू रियलाइजेशन फ्रेमवर्क टू मैनेज सर्विसेज टू गवर्नेंस इन अ बॉक्स एंड देर आर मेनी मोर टू इन द पाइप लाइन विच आर इन प्रोसेस ऑफ बींग रिलीज क्लियरली पुटिंग अस इन द फोर फ्रंट ऑफ इंश्योरिंग दैट वी आर देयर टू वर्क विद आर क्लाइंट्स टू हेल्प दैम एज पार्ट ऑफ दिस डिस्ट्रप्टिव ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड हेल्प दैम थिंक बोल्डर एंड स्केल हायर That's an interesting note to end on. And what's left for me to do other than thank you all for joining me today? Thank you once again. You can catch this and more of the other episodes of Intelligent Automation Bites online. So stay tuned with us for more.